my photography friends. I'm at the center lawn building. I've got my 14 by 17 camera and I'm going to shoot some pinholes of the center lawn. I'll show you guys how I do pinholes with such a big camera. Let's go. I'm quite attracted to this bush here. It's really neat. It's almost like a monster. It's got a beastly feel to it. And I want to photograph it with the center lawn. Kind of like that. Around here. Wow, those clouds are really cool. I'll be shooting uh, x-ray film. What, as you know, is orthochromatic. So I probably can show a little bit of cloud separation. Okay, camera is attached. I'll probably need a wide angle. The lenses that I have for this format, uh, my 300 Nikkor and my 355. G Claron and I have got a Nikkor 450 and a Fujinon 600 but I'm not using lenses I'm doing a pinhole but I brought those lenses along because it, it aids in um, composing the image this is the uh, pinhole that I'm using it's a 0.63 just mounted on a board myself. Before I actually use this, I'm going to attach a proper lens uh, to the camera and that will help me compose. I'm going to start with my 355G Claron. And 355 is wide angle on 14 by 17. Where's my coffee? I need my coffee. That makes a great table. <sighs> Beautiful morning. I'm in no hurry. Always got, got to remember to slow down. Take your time. Do it slowly. Whatever you're doing it, do it slowly and meaningful. Not that slow. Got the 355 on. <sighs> oh, this is a beautiful day. <sighs> Might as well take this opportunity to thank all you guys who've been supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. <clears throat> it's been a fun ride so far. I started my channel way back in 2011 and I, and I pretty much neglected it. I didn't really do much, didn't take it very seriously, only until about, I don't know, last October, November. I thought, why not? I can have a little bit of fun. Take you guys along with me when I'm out taking pictures with all my different cameras and different formats. Um, so, I mean, if you're watching for the first time, tag along. And, hey, I'd love it if you guys subscribed. <laughs> That'd be great. Or give the channel a like. Thanks. Okay, enough blubbering. Let's get on with it. This is a, what I use for a dark cloth. It's just a big piece of black material I got from a fabric store. Uh, drape it over and hold it on with clips, especially when it's windy, but it's, it's nice and calm today, so just the way I like it. Now I'm going to go under and compose. I wear these. They're plus four, and uh, not because I normally need them, but they're great for uh, when I'm focusing. So I use this for a rough focus, 
and then I use my loop for critical focus. Got this cool little level, had this forever. Bought it over in Japan. It's been with me for a long time. So I have the building almost vertical, but not quite, but that's okay. I like a little bit of lean, creates a little bit of tension. Whoa. Fix it. Thank you, that's better. Okay, I've accomplished two things by using this lens. I can easily compose the image. Now I'll be able to determine what um, exposure I should use according to this lens focal length. Now I'll attach my little fusion hole to the front of the balance front of the camera. And I did make quite a bit of adjustments to the camera. I've got the the camera back is roughly parallel to the of the building and also my lens. I'm not really concerned with focus because I'm doing pinhole. I just want to have the, the geometry a little bit corrected. It's a little bit off, I don't care. A little bit of uh, keystoning is actually, I like it. I find it quite appealing sometimes. Too much though, no. Okay, the only thing I worry about is the bellows intruding into the picture area so I just make sure try to make sure that it's not because this bellows is a very crappy bellows that I made and it's a piece of crap but it's light tight and that is all that matters all right let's get this out of the way so what did I say? I'm using x-ray film and I usually shoot that at 80, an EI of 80. 120, 180, 64, 50, oh, cast it. 80. Dark shadows in there, but my image is kind of to about there. So I'm not going to worry about that. I do have deep shadows in there. Um, and up in that area. So I'll probably be basing my exposure in that little area there. And then I'll be checking these really bright areas just to see what my subject luminance range is. So I'll take a meter reading of that shadow up there. As long as my light meter stays on, that's pretty bright. So it's a five stop difference. So we're looking at a normal subject brightness or subject luminance range. This bush here in the foreground Take a reading off a leaf it is about three and a half stops. So if I place my shadow on zone three, that the leaf there that I just read will be six and a half, zone six and a half. The really bright areas are around zone eight, so that's good. I'm gonna have to make some serious adjustments for the pinhole. And I have on my phone a chart that I generated from that Mr. Pinhole website. So this is the chart that I use. And I'm going to match the whatever um, f-stop I end up, end up with after I've adjusted for the shadow. Then I'll look, try to find it on this chart. Then slide over to the f-stop for my pinhole, which in this case is f. 222. 
it's not an old TV show, room 222. But my meter reading was F8 and a half at a fifteenth of a second. So I'm going to give two stops less for the shadow. So that would be 16 F 16 and a half at a fifteenth. Now let's look and see on this chart. I got an F16, that'll do. So F16 and the shutter speed on my meter says 15th, 15th of a second. And we slide over and it's 12 seconds. So it's a 12 second exposure, not too bad. But I'm going to add reciprocity compensation to it and I have a data for that too on my phone that I generated ha 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 here it is there's my reciprocity correction I'll put this up on my video too so you guys can see it maybe use it I, I generated this data ooh. well when I first started x-ray film so around 2008 and I've used it in the field a lot and it's it's reliable it works Okay, so what did I say? 12 seconds? So 12 seconds, I'm looking at about two-thirds of a... Oops. I'm going to give a stop more on top of that. So that's 24 seconds. Mm. Okay, let's do it. All right, so let's put this in. It's all the way in. Now I don't have um, a shutter in front of or something to cover it, so I just use my finger. <laughs> I'll start my metronome. 24 seconds, right? Right. to steady ten and that's twenty four the dark side goes out now I shot that one with no filter. Usually I shoot x-ray with a yellow or a green filter, but I'm not going to bother. And that's it. All right. That's it. I'm out of my film. Just two sheets. Yeah, I know. I wish I had more holders. That could be dangerous though, because I'd probably go through film a lot faster. <laughs> um, so yep, so I've shot these two sheets of film, and I'm going to come back here, as long as the weather holds out. Um, so I'll come, I'm going to come back around 5, 5.30 and get set up for the exact same shot. So I'll see you guys then. Take care.
All right, I finally made it back to this spot. I originally meant to come uh, later in the day, but the weather was not on my side. So I decided to come back the next day. Well, the weather was the craps. It rained and it rained, then it got nice. So I came up, but there was a film crew in this area filming. Finally, two weeks later, two weeks later, there's no one here. The weather's not ideal. It's nice and sunny. It's what I wanted, but uh, there's a bit of a breeze. The difference is uh, my framing is a little bit tighter. Um, and considerably lower as you can see. The reason why I chose a lower camera position I wanted to eliminate some of that road there. It's just too dominating in the uh, other two shots that I did. Black piece of plastic held on the tape. Just lift this up. Boom. And the next thing this time I just I shot with a yellow filter, like I normally do with that chair, and that's a number eight, so I gave a stop extra exposure. Same pinhole, size 0.63. Okay, so I've got my shots, and it's only two shots, mind you. I should take more. But I'm all done. It's taken me two weeks to get these shots. I'm going to go home, I'm going to develop them, and then hopefully one of them will end up as a gum over cyanotype. That's my goal. So I'll catch you guys in my dark room. See ya. Thank you. 